YouTube, what in the literal, I'm not going to cuss, hell is Canelo Alvarez doing? Who is he fighting? Do we even care anymore? I've lost interest, but look, the only reason I'm making the video, I'm going to tell you guys a little story, something I've wanted to always tell you, but never did, but it's okay to tell you now, okay? Now, uh, <laughs> let me kick it off here. Let me kick it off here. Look, we're, we're going to say this. Right in front of Canelo here. It's a little bit dark in my house right now. Okay, I apologize for the, the, the shaky camera, whatever. It's a little bit dark. Look, here's the thing, guys. Back in, what was it, uh, 20, 20, 20, 2019, okay? Hang on, let me get let me get Canelo off here. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of footage of Jaime Mungaya because he plays an important role in the story I want to tell you. Back in 2019, I told you guys... The Gennady Golovkin Canelo Trilogy was going to be at Aztec Stadium, Mexico City, right? Now, where did I get that information from? I got it from Jaime Mungai himself. Okay, you guys know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I've met him multiple times. Kind of, I don't say we're friends, but kind of know each other. Now, I'm a, a friend of his good friend. So, I've got all these little connections and all these little feelers out there, right? It's what we do as reporters. We kind of slime and grime and weasel our way into boxers' lives. And we get these little tidbits of information and we pass them on to you. But, Jaime and Guy had a signed contract, okay, for the trilogy. Uh, we're talking about Gennady Golovkin and Canelo Alvarez. The Aztec Stadium 2019, and what happened? What happened? Canelo backed out. Okay? So that's one little very important piece of the puzzle you don't know about. Really, not, not many people know about. You know, now, now I have heard Jaime Mungai talk about this. It's out there. You can find it to, to, to back up what I'm telling you, but I knew about it. You can go listen to my video. I knew about it a long time ago. Okay? So my point is, you know, it just it seems like there's always this diva behavior from Canelo. Now we have Billy Joe Saunders and a, a Column Smith. You know, who the hell is he fighting? You know, it's getting so irritating. And look, I hate to get on here and rant and be negative, whatever, but it's kind of hard not to. You know, you just get sick and tired of it, right? And I'm to the point to where I don't even care anymore. But, but and I told you guys about, a, was it like a five days ago, I think, that uh, I was told from a very reliable source that it will be Billy Joe Saunders, and I still think it will be Billy Joe Saunders. We're, look, we they said we would get the announcement last Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, what that was, uh, what is it, today? today's uh, Tuesday. So it's, it's, been a, it's already been a week. So we're a week away from the original announcement date. And look, May is creeping up right around the corner. You know, so there's just a pattern of diva behavior. Now Canelo's claiming I'm going to fight three times in 2020. We're going to fight, you know, single to Bible day in May. We're going to fight again in September and again in December. So he's already looking past Gennady Golovkin. Apparently, they're talking about AT&T Stadium, I think September 12th. And um, <laughs> Canelo's saying, I'm not even worried about, about the, the trilogy. Who the hell is texting me at 2 in the damn morning? Okay, anyway, so, uh, wow, that threw me off. He's look, he, he's looking past Gennady Golovkin. I mean, could you imagine if, if, if you're old Triple G over there? He's like, well, wait a minute. Let's do, you, you know, you can see Gennady Golovkin pulling out a calendar like September, November, December. Like, this dude's already talking about December. Like, how does he know he can even fight in December? You know, Canelo's signing deals that, you know, look, if I'm Gennady Golovkin, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, I'm going to hurt you now. I'd go out of my shield, whatever, throw it all out there. Hagler Hearns, right? Looking past me, talking about Easter. You gotta be out your damn mind. Look, hey, right there, that video, there's Oscar De La Hoya and Eric Gomez in the back, but that's the, the, the zone people right there in front of me, by the way. And they are they were rude as shit to me. I just wanna I wanna point that out. That girl right there in the orange shirt, she kept yelling at me. Like, she's like, sir, sir, you need to get out of the way, sir. And I'm like, look, I'm the media just like you. You don't own this place. You know, you'll, <laughs> you'll see her, man. She's going around like a linebacker, like pushing people out of the way. And then the, the two of his own guys, uh, hey, there's a, a Canelo's uh, team. I forget that dude's name. Eric Gomez is here in a minute. Anyway, but yeah, she look, 
I'm, I'm getting off so I'm excited tonight, guys. I'm gonna talk a little bit of boxing. So, anyway, let me read this article. Okay, the diva behavior. Canelo demanding more money to fight Gennady Golovkin. Well, why? If you already beat him twice, you know you beat him twice. Why do you need more money? Doesn't make any sense to me. You know, pricing yourself out to fight an old, washed-up Gennady Golovkin. I mean, according to him, right? And let's face it. Look, father time is catching up. Gennady Golovkin didn't look so good against old Darby and Chico. Now did he? No, he didn't. Okay. Look, let me read a few quotes from Canelo. Okay, he's talking about, you know, why, why they're having issues finding an opponent. He's a, because they want a lot of money. When they go to fight with Canelo, uh, they, they, they want the moon and the stars. Th- that is the complication. But there are many opponents out there. <clears throat> there has to be one out there. I'm ready for anyone, Canelo said to ESPN. Okay, right here. Canelo wanted to fight in Japan against uh, Moretta. We heard about that. And he says right here, uh, I want to end the year by fighting in Japan if God is willing. That is the idea, Canelo said. Okay, the end of the year. Again, we're talking about December. Dude is just literally literally looking past Gennady Golovkin. He says, I'm going to fight on May 2nd, and it will be announced. I mean, we we will announce the opponent. Sorry, we're translating from Spanish here. And we will announce the opponent. There is not one definite yet. He should have said opponent. Okay, maybe not this year, but next year I will fight in Mexico. There are possibilities to return to Mexico. I'm delighted to come to Mexico. It can be anywhere. Well, how about Aztec Stadium 2019? So look, you guys remember when Canelo made the big deal with his own. Okay, he promised to fight with Gennady Golovkin. Well, this is what I'm telling you about. Like I said, Jaime, Jaime Munguay was going to be on the undercard. Okay? Look, let me get off this shaky-ass video real quick. Jaime Munguay was going to be on the undercard. He had a signed contract. I actually saw the contract, but Canelo backed out. He backed out. You know, I mean, it, it is what it is. Hang on, guys. Sorry, I'm having some uh, technical difficulties here. I don't know. Whatever. We'll watch old Oscar De La Hoya for a minute. This is an interview I did with Oscar, and I was actually talking to him about the Gennady Golovkin uh, rematch back then. But whatever. You guys get the point. Okay? So, I don't know. Look, you tell me. You tell me. I know there's a lot of Canelo fans out there listening. Is, is, is this diva behavior? Right? Are you getting sick and tired? Look, the dude is making like 400 million with an M million dollars, but he wants more money to fight Gennady Golovkin. I mean, he even told uh, DAZN, you know, look, I'll fight Demetrius Andre. You know, I'll do anything you want as long as I don't have to fight Triple G. Now, is he afraid of Gennady Golovkin? I don't think so. I really don't. You know, I don't think he's afraid of Gennady Golovkin. I think he just literally hates Gennady Golovkin. And that's what I've been told by people at Golden Boy. You know, people I know, my contacts, they told me, you know, he hates them. That's it. You know, and he feels, you know, he already beat him twice and there's no need for a third fight. Well, no, no, no. Back, let's like back up. First of all, the original fight was a draw. Okay. And we all know Triple G won. I mean, nearly 90, what, 90 something percent of the media had Gennady Golovkin winning. The rematch, I think, should have been a draw. Okay. But I'd probably edge it to, to, to Golovkin. But Canelo got the win. You know, the Vegas cash cow, the establishment fighter. Okay, whatever. Nothing new. Okay, so really right now, I mean, it's kind of one and one. But a lot of people will say 2-0 and in Gennady Golovkin's favor. So we need the trilogy to put it to bed. But look, I mean, we are in 2020. The original fight, 2017. The rematch, 2018. The, 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 the trilogy should have been in 2019, Mexico City, Aztec Stadium. But no, like I said, Canelo divvied out. You know, because he, he was throwing a temper tantrum because Abel Sanchez was saying, you know, you're on PEDs and you had the whole Clem Buterol scandal, all of that. So, you know, Canelo Alvarez got pissed off and said, OK, all right, look, I'm going to punish everybody. I'm not fighting them, you know. And now let's be real. We're getting to the point now to where do we even care? Do we even want to see a Gennady Golovkin Canelo trilogy? Not really. You know, I'm good either way, to be honest. The, <laughs> look, the only reason I would like to see it now is is the possibility. I, I give Gennady Golovkin a puncher's chance. Because, look, I'm being honest. Although, Canelo looked a little flat-footed uh, against Kovalev. Now, we know that fight was rigged. Okay, I told you guys that, and I was right about it. So, most of you out there owe me an apology. Because I told you that fight was rigged, and nobody believed me. And it was. Okay, so, you know, but, he, like I said, he looked flat-footed. Like he was walking in quicksand. So, who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Today's, t- what, Tuesday. Okay, 
Now, I would imagine, because they were going to announce, announce, announce the fight originally Tuesday, Wednesday last week, so I would imagine it, it's probably going to be today, you know, or Wednesday, rather. You know, no later than Friday. And, and look, we're running. Look, they not we they are running out of time. Right. I mean, we are approaching mid uh, mid March here. OK, they're talking about a May 2nd fight. You know, t- the, look, the clock is tick, 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 ticking. They're running out of time. Oscar de la Hoya. Right now, I would uh, I think it gives Canelo a huge advantage. I've already talked about it before. It gives Oscar a, or, or Canelo a huge advantage because he's already training. He knows he's fighting whoever he's he knows who he's fighting. But wouldn't it be funny? I wouldn't put it. Look, Billy Joe Asano, that dude's crazy, dude. Like, look, that guy's crazy, like for real, like legit. I wouldn't put it past him to say, you know what? I'm not fighting Canelo. You want to play games, whatever. And I think it's hilarious. That a lot of people they're pricing, or they're not, they're they're not pricing. They're 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 turning down the fight. They're telling Canelo, no, I'm not going to be your sacrificial lamb. I'm not going to play games. We're not doing this anymore. You know, I'm 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 not going to be you know your next highlight reel. No, you know, it's like people are catching on to the game. You know, people are on to them. People are on to them, right? So. I don't know what's going to happen, right? And, and the thing is, there's so many options. A dude can make 160, 168, 175, any catch weight in the world. Okay, started it, you know, all the way down to a probably 155 pound catch weight, which I know he can't make now, but he could easy, easily make middleweight. So there are a ton of options. It's not like he's locked down to one division, okay? You know, and, and a lot of times we, we'll give a boxer a pass when we, when we know. That they're, they're, you know, their 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 home division is their home division. They don't have the luxury of bouncing around like Canelo does. Look at Gennady Golovkin, a very small middleweight, comes in around 170, 171, 172, a small middleweight. He, I mean, the only thing he can do is middleweight, especially at this age. But Canelo, I mean, he just has an an ocean of options. So look, my point is, let me end it here. This is. This is bad uh, management, right, on on Canelo's team, on Golden Boy. And I think it's probably due to the internal fighting, the internal turmoil, because they, they, look, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be going through that. They they should have had this shit figured out a long time ago. They need plan A, B, C, and D. I mean, this is a multi-million dollar operation here. You know, and and, uh, I mean, it's crazy. Look, it's crazy. Like I said, it goes all the way back to Aztec Stadium, Mexico. That's where this this drama started. Okay. Did my video end? Let me go back a little bit. I I don't want it to end on me. You know, that's where all the drama started. So, you know, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Let me read a few headlines here and I'm going to hop off here. Okay. Uh, what are we on? What are we on? Oh, never mind. Boxer Act. Okay, Boxer. What are you? 53, 1 and 2. When did he fight Gennady Golovkin? I said 2017, 2018. Did I, get, did I get that right? Yeah, there you go. 2017, 2018. And then we should have had the trilogy around the Daniel Jacobs fight that you see there. Okay? So, like I said, I was told by Jaime Mungaya, I actually saw a picture on his phone of the contract, okay, of the contract, it was a done deal, but then Canelo pulled the plug because he threw a temper tantrum, he doesn't like Gennady Golovkin, what a shame, what a shame, so anyway guys, I'm going to leave it at that, look, I, I, I think we're probably going to get the announcement like any day now, but honestly, don't, I mean, look, Canelo's making me look like an idiot because I keep telling you guys what I'm hearing, but that's, but I did tell you, with Canelo and Golden Boy, they are unpredictable. You look, they might pull something out of left field, like somebody we never even thought of, right? Like a Rocky Fielding or a, Col- a Kovalev, whoever. You know, so we don't know what's going to happen. And again, I wouldn't put it past Billy Joe Saunders to say, you know what, I'm not playing your games, I'm out. And then they're going to go to Colin Smith and Colin Smith and say, okay, you want me, you're in a crunch, you want to fight uh, single to Monday, well, pay me more. Okay, so look, it's, get, it's getting ugly, guys. It's getting ugly out there. So what do you think? Leave it below.